Welcome to, um, oh, Just Coaster Dad. We are here today at Hill End where they are testing with families of staff the uh, new Hill End, Scotland, Edinburgh Alpine Coaster. And the big news is it's opening on Saturday. But if we're going to look at new things, let's look at the bottom of the hill first because I've just stomped all the way up here from work and I'm tired. I can't vlog yet. Well, I'm on a road bridge, but I can see that over there is the Midlothian Snow Sports Centre Alpine Coaster, and it is coasting. Let's go have a look. Well, sorry about the glaring sun, but look, things are looking much more tidy here. Looks like the bus station is almost ready to go. That would be nice. Now I can get the bus here, I'm not having to walk the last half mile. But yeah, let's get up that hill, let's get up. I want to see this coaster running. So what we're actually heading up to see today is a session where families of the staff members um, and the staff members themselves of the council in Midlothian get to try out this coaster as a way of training the staff for work on it. So it's not open to the public, even though you might see young families and all the rest when we're up there. So yeah, now we're at the top of the hill and you might be able to see behind me, though the sun of course is shining as it always is in the camera here. We are looking at the coaster being used, so I'll turn you around and let you have a look at this Vigeland Alpine coaster in action at last. So yeah, there's some people careening down the hill and coming to a nice stop at the end. So today they have released details of how to book this coaster. You can book this coaster on the Midlothian Sports and Leisure app, which is available on Google Play and on the Apple App Store. Someone just coming down into the helix. That looks like it pulls a few G's. Look at that. This is easily going to be the best roller coaster in Scotland because it doesn't have much competition. And this is the station here, all ready to go. And it goes up the hill. Somebody on the lift hill right there, right now. And then there's someone coming down the top bit. That top bit looks quite fast. Gonna zoom a little on the helix for you there. So yeah, this coaster by a German company, I believe, called Vigeland. And yeah, someone's just going through that helix again. Oh, the wind's coming. I'm gonna turn you around. So if you've seen all our vlogs up to this point, the ones where we're able to walk up and touch the coaster, the first thing you're going to notice is, at last, there is a fence protecting the coaster running area. So that's good, that's my heart fix. I didn't believe there couldn't be one, but it was getting close to opening time. So yeah, it is opening this Saturday, Saturday the 14th of September, 2024, the second Alpine coaster to be currently running in the UK. And it will come down the hill at Hill End. You can get the number four bus almost all the way here. You can get the number 15 bus absolutely all the way here. In the long run, the four will be the way you get here most easily from town, I think. This coaster has a price now. And that price, and do leave a comment in the comments if, you're, if you think this price is too cheap or indeed if you think it's too expensive. This coaster costs seven pounds a ride if you're over 1.4 meters and over the age of nine. You need to be both. If you are under that, but you're over four, you can ride with an adult, but that will cost the pair of you in total 14 pounds. You can buy rides in sets of three. As a single rider, single rider driver, that will be 19 pounds, a two pound discount off of buying three rides as singles. If you are going in a pair, 38 pounds for your free rides. I'll leave it to you to decide if that's good value for money. Um, the way you book it, you need to go on the Midlothian app, which I will pop up a little picture of here. Um, you do need to kind of sign up because this is being run as a leisure center style attraction. You'll need to sign up for at least a kind of guest family membership, put your family's details in, and then you'll be able to buy your tickets. Now I think Saturday will probably be sold out by the time this video is out and it'll only be, have been a few hours that it's been open but it was selling pretty quick this morning when I grabbed my tickets. My tickets are for 10 o'clock which I believe is the first batch. You'll be batched in groups of 30 to do a half hour to get your rides in. So yeah, it is opening on Saturday. We are very excited and I'll give you some more off-ride footage now of the testing. So yeah, one other thing is for sure, this coaster is looking good in the sun and when these little trees and bushes grow up, it's gonna be even prettier. I do love the look of this helix. I can't wait for Saturday to be going around that. 
Now, of course, with this kind of coaster, you control the brakes yourself until you get down to this end section where it will slow you down. So you can go as slow or as fast as you like when you're coming down one of these but it will then break you and put the red lights on the back if you can see the red lights on the back of the seat of that rider. So yeah, you take this lift hill which comes out of the station all the way up there. If you go look at one of our previous videos, you'll see the view from the top of the hill instead. It then sneaks, that sneaks down what is currently the right hand side of the lift hill from this angle, goes under the lift hill, which is kind of fun. Nice little head chopper moment. And then comes down into this main element, this type helix here now I did notice that in their um, in their media chat so far they've been describing this helix as a loop uh, this helix is not a loop a loop is when you go upside down folks uh, that is the technical term so yes they did claim that they have a loop they don't have a loop they have a helix but it looks lots of fun so I think we will probably leave it there until Saturday I'll just turn you around so no doubt this video has been dogged by wind noise because I haven't brought any of my equipment. I knew for sure that I was coming up to do this a couple of hours ago when I was at work, which luckily for me is only 10 minutes or so away. This coaster will easily be the best coaster in Scotland because it doesn't have a lot of competition. There are no rides bigger than this. And while it isn't a super intense thrill coaster and it's more of a family ride, it easily blows away the small Apple coaster they've got at Cadona's and a couple of smaller fun fair style coasters they have at m and d's this coaster could prove that scotland loves coasters and needs a theme park that is properly sited in a correct place we don't want a coaster near loch lomond flamingo land people if you're following that story go and look it up if you aren't but this coaster could be the proof of concept that scotland can really attract coaster fans so if you come up here and you ride this coaster you'll be doing us a favor we might get some more of this sort of thing in Scotland and be it Alpine coasters or be it your more standard theme park coasters but yeah for now I've been Coaster Dad I mean I'm not this isn't the Coaster Dad channel there's another guy who's been calling himself Coaster Dad recently um, and there was one many many years ago we're in the middle we've been here longer than the famous Coaster Dad at the moment but um, yeah it's not the Coaster Dad channel it's the Roller Baz and Coaster Dad channel and yeah check out our previous construction vlogs if this is your first time here subscribe come and watch our video when we post it on saturday night or sunday morning of what this ride is like we'll see you next time on roller baz and coaster dad hello and welcome to roller baz and coaster dad and we are back here. If you've seen some of our videos, you'll know where we are. Where are we, Baz? We are at the site of Scotland's roller coaster. Yeah, we're up at Midlothian Snow Sports Centre again to give you another update on the Alpine coaster that's being built here. It's only the third one.